Hey guys, I've got my two Ingrid sweaters by Petite Knit here. Uh, one's blocked, one's not, so I'm sorry one looks a bit messier because it's not quite finished. Um, and I'm sorry I've already finished the sleeve, so I can't walk you through the decreases through the mock section, but I can talk to you about it because I actually did three different methods across the four sleeves because I just wanted to try different things. So I can at least show you how, or at least tell you how I did it. So the decreases are pretty standard until you get to the mock section. You do a decrease about halfway through, then somewhere up the top here, and then you do another one halfway through. So you do a total of three decreases, um, three decrease rows through the mock cable section. It tells you how many stitches are on the needle when you first start, and I think it's pretty standard until you get to that midway where you do one decrease. And I think you've got to think about it. It's really only a problem until you get to row 31 because there's a cable using a, a stitch that you've decreased. So picture it as taking away those boxes. When you've done one decrease, it's one stitch gone. When you've done two, it's two boxes gone. And then when you do three, it's three boxes gone. So it's not an issue unless really you're in a cable section because if you're just in a normal knit stitch, uh, like a through the boxes of normal knit stitches, then you just don't do them and you start at the next section. So for example, row 29, if you've got say two gone or one gone, you just do a knit stitch, a knit stitch and then a cable instead of three knit stitches before it. But yeah, you can see when it gets to row 31, you're kind of like, oh, what do I do there? I'm just going to show you here. So I, sorry, I intentionally kind of felted my rose sweater because I'm a very small person. So with this one, I borrowed the stitch from the row before where you're just doing the plain knitting. So I'll try and draw what that looks like. Now, I just want to show you because the decreases are happening through that first diamond there, it's going to look different to the rest anyway, because it's going to start getting skinnier. So it's not going to look like the others. So let me just show you I'll see if I can draw it for you. So when you borrow the stitch from the row before, say for example we're doing row 31 and we've done that decrease midway through the mock cables, so we've taken away that stitch and you have to do a cable. So let's just say that's our marker for the start of the round, that's the stitch before and that's the stitch after. We're doing the plain knitting row, you get to one stitch before, you don't knit that one, but you use that as the cable. So you do a cable, don't forget to put your stitch marker in the middle again, and then you go on with the next cable and keep knitting. So that's one option. The other option I did here is that I just knitted, if there was a cable where half the cable was gone because of a decrease, I just did a knit stitch and then carried on with my work. So you can see it's not a perfect cross like the other cables. It does look a bit funky. But once I block it, it'll look a bit better and it's under my arm, so I'm not too fussed, really. Um, what that looks like on the chart is, let's say again, for row 31, we've crossed that stitch off because it's gone, we decreased it down here somewhere. We've got half a cable left there. I did a knit stitch, did the next mock cable and then carried on and that's what that looks like. After we've gone and done the second decrease, we come back down to row 19 and repeat it. That first cable's completely gone, so you do that next cable and continue on with your knitting. When you do that third decrease about midway up, let's shade in these cells because they're gone when we're doing that about halfway through that second repeat. So they're all gone. So again, it's only a problem, I think, when you're halfway through a cable. So for that cable there on this sweater, I just did a normal knit stitch because I kind of thought stuff it, I just want to see what it looks like. I did it right on the first one or more so what the instructions say. Um, and look, I think it looks fine. So it's totally up to you which method you want to do. You can stop one stitch the row before and use that for the cable. Um, if you can read your knitting, I think it's a lot easier. I'm sorry I didn't film it. It would have been a lot clearer if I had of. I hope this provides some clarity I know it's confusing because I can't show you how I did it, but look, it turns out fine. Drop me a message if you're still having trouble.